to market his video, Sidrell uses an intriguing selling point. He says the film contains lost footage, which NASA sent to him by mistake. In fact, this so-called lost footage was placed in the public domain by NASA many years ago and is freely available as part of a DVD set by Spacecraft Films. In the Sibrel DVD, he accuses the Apollo astronauts of using camera trickery to fake a shot of Earth from 130,000 miles out. To achieve a disingenuous picture depicting the Earth at a distance in order to falsely demonstrate their far journey from it. On their way to the moon, the Apollo 11 astronauts made three television broadcasts. The first two were unscheduled and were intended primarily to allow them to get familiar with the camera controls. And how about the end stop? Uh, is 22 going to be adequate? The third broadcast was scheduled and seen by millions watching on their TV sets. The Sibrel DVD contains footage from this public broadcast. Therefore, the DVD's claim that it is never before seen footage is a complete fabrication. In a funny thing happened, the narrator makes many false assumptions. Here is one example. If the window was completely filled up with a TV camera, as he stated, then an astronaut's arm would not be able to get between the camera and the window, as it obviously does here in this outtake. <laughs> then an astronaut's arm would not be able to get between the camera and the window, as it obviously does here in this outtake. The arm, the narrator refers to, is actually just the edge of the command module's window, through which Buzz Aldrin was shooting his video of Earth. The window was identical to this example from Apollo 7. Notice the straight vertical edges. This will become important a bit later. Now listen, as the narrator explains how the astronauts are supposedly faking their shot of Earth from halfway to the moon. What they have ingeniously done is placed the camera at the back of the spacecraft and centered the lens on a circular window in the foreground, outside of which it is completely filled with the Earth in low orbit. The circumference of the window then appears to be the diameter of the Earth at a distance, with the darkened walls of the spacecraft appearing to be the blackness of space around it. That Easily the most controversial statement on his Funny Thing Happened DVD, Sibrell is claiming that the astronauts were actually in low Earth orbit. And the image of Earth shown here is the near Earth, filling up a round porthole window in the spacecraft. He then says the astronauts blocked out all light so the inside of the porthole would not be visible, and a new, distant Earth is formed. It sounds good to a casual observer, but there are several major problems with the statement. First, if you'll remember back to the previous segment, the window Buzz Aldrin was shooting through was square, not round. Second, if they really were in low Earth orbit, the Earth would be moving by quite fast, instead of the relatively static image shown in Apollo 11. Notice how different these videos of Earth from a recent space shuttle mission would look through our virtual porthole. Notice how the Earth's rotation can be easily seen, even in the short clip. Now compare this cropped image of Earth from 220 miles up to the Apollo images Sibrel and his team want us to believe are from the same low orbit. If Apollo 11 is as close to Earth as Sibrel states, why is there no rotation commensurate with that altitude in the Apollo video? Our technical advisor, Sat Weavers, also created these test images. They show how a cropped Earth would look if shot from low orbit. These images were taken only minutes apart, yet they show huge changes in surface features. Something that is noticeably missing from the Apollo videos. The, US. the reason is obvious. Earth's rotation is much less noticeable when viewed from 130,000 miles away. Take note of how Buzz Aldrin is holding the video camera in his hands. 
He is moving back and forth inside a zero-g capsule, all while trying to keep Earth in frame. Naturally, the situation lends itself to a lot of camera movement. It is because of this camera movement, that their hypothesis falls apart. Think about what you're seeing. With the camera shaking, and constantly changing positions, would the artificial horizon, created by a round window, remain in the same place, or would it move, revealing different parts of the Earth? We decided to do a test and find out. For this demonstration, a lighted globe was put in position, behind a piece of cardboard with a hole cut out. Then, all the room lights were turned out, to simulate the conditions inside the command module. Our new view of Earth, was then videotaped. The black cardboard represents the inside of a spacecraft, and the hole represents the porthole window Aldrin was supposedly shooting through. As you can see, our cropped image of the globe looks quite good. But when the camera begins to move around, as it did when Aldrin was shooting, something interesting happens. Notice how the artificial horizon created by our makeshift porthole, now changes its position in relation to the rest of the globe. As the camera moves, less of Earth is revealed on one side, and more is revealed on the opposite side. As shown here, the entire continent of Australia, completely disappears, with only a few inches of camera movement. If Aldrin really had been shooting Earth in low orbit, through a porthole window, his camera movements would have shown the same effect. Clearly, this is not the case. Author David Percy, is a colleague of Bart Sibrel, and also an Apollo conspiracist. This was also found by a fellow TV producer and Apollo researcher, Bart Sibrel. It's interesting to note, that he apparently agrees with us, when it comes to the pitfalls of shooting through a porthole, with a handheld camera. It would be difficult to keep the subject well framed, as you can see from this illustration. The Earth in the far distance, would be cut off by the window in the foreground, when any movement of the camera occurred. <laughs> we wring the edge of the window white for clarity. Remember, it was handheld. For further proof, sat weavers obtained these more recent photos of Earth, taken by the Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite, or GOES, for short. Remember, Bart Sibrel states quite confidently, that the image Apollo 11 showed of Earth, was actually just a smaller area, of a much larger planet. But in analyzing these whole Earth images, from the GOES weather satellite, striking similarities with the original Apollo 11 video can be seen. Some weather patterns are common on planet Earth, such as the band of clouds diagonally traversing the Pacific, creating the same arrowhead shape seen in the Apollo video, from 1969. The scale and shape of these cloud patterns, taken some 35 years apart, adds strong new evidence that we actually are seeing the entire Earth, in the images shot by the Apollo crew. Taking into account all the evidence just presented. Low orbit Earth rotation velocity, shooting with a handheld camera, and cloud pattern comparisons. It can be confidently stated that Bart Sibrel's porthole theory is, unequivocally, Busted. <laughs>